boy who lived come to die? The last battle is going to be huge. It's incredible to see what all of these characters can do when they're pushed to the very edge. Come on! Find out where he is, and we can end this. This is kind of the end of the line. It's quite a big moment for everyone. These are iconic figures of good and evil. He's about to grasp victory and defeat Harry Potter. Begin. On this night, join me and confront your fate. The final confrontation between Voldemort and Harry, something we've been building to throughout this series. We wanted to make this as exciting and operatic as we could. In the book, the standoff between Harry and Voldemort happens in the Great Hall. I just wanted to develop more of a battle because we'd waited quite a long time for the fight between those two. There's something interesting in how can one exist without the other, which I wanted to draw out in the final battle. We have them racing through the school and dueling with each other. Confringo! Voldemort's just throwing everything at him. In a rapid fire assault on every aspect of Harry's magical powers. Voldemort is, without question, you know, the most chilling character we've ever come across. <laughs> Rafe fills the space in a way that you would hope the Voldemort would. It's quite intimidating to be in a quite combative scene with such an experienced actor. And he's sort of forced me to raise my own standards. I could uh, fight! <laughs> We have a lot of scenes where we're fighting or looking or reacting to each other's magic wands and spells. He's very professional and he's got a fantastic attitude. He's a great partner. That really considers the reason behind each of Harry's actions and the conflict between Harry and Voldemort. You see in Harry's eyes that he can't stop. He has to see it through. Finally, we're going to see them going at it. Yeah! And they literally come face to face. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together! Together.